What is going on, everybody? I'm Bolts the Clown, and this is Did You Know, a little series where I go through little things that I figure if you guys don't know, or you know, little things that I think are cool and that I don't think the mass public knows. So if you do know, if you do know anything that I haven't covered in a video yet that you think is cool, make sure to message me and tell me what it is. Okay, so we're getting into this now. So the first thing I thought was cool was that this is actually the spawn point right here. So let's see, we'll get the lava out, and what, what I thought was cool is you can't place lava in the spawn. You get that little, uh, that little thing. So the way I, the, I actually found to do it was you put it inside of a dispenser, and then you just f simply dispense it out, and it goes, you know, in the spawn. So I don't really know what you would use this for, <laughs> but I mean, I thought it was nice to know. I don't know if builders want to do it or not, but I mean, then you can remove it, obviously, and the lava just will stay there. I'm in creative mode because, you know, some of the stuff is uh, easier to do in creative mode. But yeah, so this can be done in survival mode. And, you know, that's how you do it. Okay, so now I'll move on to... Get rid of that. Move on to a mob on a stick. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. Okay, so let's do... Let's get some uh, normal mobs. So what's cool, though, about this is that you can actually... As long as you make these... Uh, you can make any kind of a fence or stick or... It can just be a block if you want. <clears throat> but I like on the stick. I think they look funnier. But you can actually put any mob on here and it will just stay. Now, if you put a block down here in the bottom then where they can jump onto it, then they'll actually get down. But as long as they, as long as it, basically what it is, is if they fall down and they would have taken damage, then they simply don't jump down. So, uh, let's see, we can put, um, a chicken. Chickens will stay up here. Cows will stay up here. You can actually breed them from like, like, uh, you know, stick to stick. And then one of them will just have a baby underneath them. So you could just keep stacking cows up here and breeding them. And then once you were all done, you could actually slaughter them all when they're up on a stick if you wanted to. Or do whatever you wanted. Let's go. So he's actually going to die, but put a skeleton up there. <laughs> if it was, you know, had a cover on it or if he had some soul sand, then he, he wouldn't die. You could just keep him up there as like a little, on a little statue or something, which I thought was kind of funny. Okay, so that is mob on a stick. And then we're going to go to one thing that I did not even know. And it, I just, this was crazy. A friend actually told me this. And here, let's see. So basically you put down mobs. Uh, for this one, we'll do uh, zombies. But for some reason, potions of harming do nothing against them. Do you see that? So, uh, potion of harming will hurt other things, but not zombies and skeletons. So, how I always explain this is that since they're dead, potion of harming doesn't hurt them. But if you have potion of healing, potion of healing actually hurts them and kills them. Look at that. <laughs> potion of healing actually hurts the undead. Or, yeah, the undead, I suppose, what you'd call them. I thought that was kind of cool is that it's like weird though that they changed that because in the previous versions Potion of Harming hurt everything and then Potion of Healing I don't think does anything. So if you did enjoy this video make sure you only rub that like button for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'm out!